Welcome! Today you will watch an unboxing video of the wireless Bucknet uh, DIN rail as well as uh, an installation video of how do you commission a wireless Bucknet network with featuring one DIN rail and one wireless Bucknet wall mount. The first thing you will see when you get the new wireless Bucknet DIN rail is that We have an external antenna which you can uh, actually replace if you want to. It's a normal RP SMA connector and uh, it makes it quite convenient if you want, for example, an IP65 antenna uh, to uh, put on an outdoor casing. The DIN rail as well as the wall mounts will always come with all dip switches down and uh, the uh, application settings between node and uh, gateway in the node mode. And this is the same as the wall mount, so you will have to configure uh, what type of uh, RS485 you have on the buses, uh, as well as if you want to put uh, the DIN rail as your gateway. I have here prepared a um, DIN rail to mount our DIN rail product with and I've already pre-assembled the wall mount with uh, power cable as well as RS485 cable. So as you see here you have the red and black wire for the power and the blue and yellow uh, cables for the plus and minus on the RS485 bus. On the DIN rail I have already prepared uh, the contacts with power and RS485. Once you have connected all the power cables and RS485 cables you can turn on the devices. What you see when you turn on the device is that both uh, LEDs are sweeping blue. That means that they are both in node mode and searching for a network to join. In this video we will use the DIN rail as the gateway but you can change uh, between wall mounts and DIN rails which one is a gateway or not. So to commission a network you put the gateway into commissioning mode uh, which is the middle button here, middle uh, dip switch here. And what you will see is that uh, the node will continue sweeping blue until it finds the network. Then it will flash green uh, verifying that it has joined the network. Now when it flashes green it means that the node has uh, joined the network and once all nodes in the network have joined with blinking green like this you can put the gateway into gateway mode. All devices will then flash yellow indicating that they are restarting to rejoin the network. The gateway will put itself into magenta indicating that it is a gateway while the nodes will start with flashing yellow to indicate that it has no network right now. It's searching for the network it has been assigned to. Once joined, it indicates red initially for uh, a weak signal and if you see this continuously uh, that means that you should probably move your device to a closer position. And in this case we are really close so it has already turned yellow. If it's the top uh, LED is indicating green that means you have a really strong and good signal. Both yellow and green signal means that you have good signal and you don't have to move your node into another position. Once you've seen that the network is up and running, you can now also see that we have a red flashing light in the bottom one. The bottom LED is indicating that um, something is wrong with the RS485 bus. Typically it could either be polarity that you have swapped plus and minus here. In the Lumen radio we use plus as the left one and uh, minus for the right one for the wall mount and it's the opposite for the DIN rail indicated by the sticker in the bottom here. 
in this case it is that we have set the wrong baud rate so the pre-configured uh, initial baud rate will always be 9600 with uh, no parity and no stop bit or one stop bit sorry and uh, our uh, backnet sensors today is uh, actually with 36 38400 so once I've turned the gateway to 38400 the RS485 bus turns green and it will actually wirelessly transmit that configuration over to the nodes where you see that the node is already green if you want a specific node setting you turn uh, dip switch 5 up and now you will see that now we have 9600 it will again show red so if you want to remain local settings you could push this one up to 38400 and it turns green again once completed with the network settings and we suggest you always use the global settings if you don't have specific uh, reasons to use the local one once everything is configured and you see signal strength is good uh, where you want it you close the wall mount the network is now installed <laughs>